How many of you are able to sit in such a way that you could be here and then actually put your chest on the table? You could. Yeah? Right? Okay. Okay. So she could do that. Unless you can do that, this is not appropriate for you. <laughs> now, what I mean by that, where am I sitting on my sit bones? Well, back. So now what am I doing? My spinal erectors. The moment I'm going to lift a person's head, what's happening? Go ahead. That's okay. That's good enough. Now, watch. Wait, 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 wait. That was really nice. Shall we help her make it much better? Good. Come here. Put your, put your feet, one foot there, one foot there. Make it wide. Turn it, turn sideways. Turn sideways like one you were just were. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Now, what's wrong with this picture? What does she do the moment she goes forward? She rolls herself forward. Mm -hmm. So now she rolled herself forward like that. Backs engaged, hamstrings engaged. She's falling, right? Mm -hmm. so, so this is so, see? It's implicit. It's in the ballet world. It's in the gymnastics world. It's in every damn place, right? And so she, she makes the movement. So now if I could make this so that she could do this easily, how would I do it? I would come underneath her. I would take hold of her sit bone. Where is it? There it is. In that little notch. And I'd find this little sit, sit bone with that little notch. A little, a little beginning. One more time. Just a little, just a little, more, a little bit more. There we go. And the, the, other, the other one too here. Okay, good. Now I have it. And as she makes the movement, I would invite her sit bones to come back. Now we'll see that as this comes back into herself, now this support is here. It, it's far less effort. The, fur the further that she goes, the more she has to tilt her pubic bone back underneath herself. Again, I can't do this in an appropriate way, okay? But I'll give you the, the general idea that this is going to tilt back as she goes. So she's now, this is stable, and she's rotated herself, and this weight now has moved backward relative to that weight going out. And look how quiet her back is. Yeah? We don't, we don't, we don't need, we don't. We, we were just asking. We were just, we were just, we were just asking if I was going to create the improvement on, based on what we understand, how would I do it? Because the moment she does that, or she did what she did, which was to go into extension, now she's held and her hamstrings are working. And she's going to go from there to go forward. Now she's working like hell. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't what we were here for. Because <laughs> uh, I was making a general comment about what you have to, the state you have to be in if you're going to be able to do this and maintain the integrity that we've been playing with. Yeah. And we can see. Our ego is such, by God, I'm going to work at the end of the table. But for the, for the moment, I'm going to invite you, just invite you for the moment, to, to do this on the, so that the principles are studied, not the outcome. Okay, enough of that. All right, so you two guys come. Where's, oh, he's. All right. Now, we don't have a third person here, because please turn, that's okay. So when I look around, when I look around, I see a lot of people with their hand up in front of, over the ear, but not actually down around and behind. So if I take this, if you scoot down just a tiny bit, scoot over just a tiny bit, that's good, perfect. And your head over here just a little bit. That's it. And your legs go over there slightly. Good enough. That's good enough. Okay, so now if I come here 
and I hold her head. Yeah. If I hold her head, and I invite him not to be in front, but actually to find under the mastoid process. What it's like to actually come under the mastoid process. Uh, <laughs> thank you. So that he can actually come under, and his arms turn under, and his hands turn under. It has nothing to it has nothing to do with the length of my hands. And now he can slide his hands forward. There goes her chin, and he can slide his hands back. Here comes her forehead, and he's just playing with this little moment of balance. Yeah. And okay, it's my turn to sit in because. Uh, let me sit in. That's it. This will take you, I think, till the second Tuesday of next week. <laughs> so you see, look, I've again, I've done this so quietly. I've rolled her. I wait. I might take 10 minutes, I don't know. I just take my time so that I can really make this placing so that as I make this movement, my hand is going to slide clearly under the mastoid process. It's not here. It's not here. This is above. It really is, I, I will come over there. You know? So that I've, under means behind, I'm sorry. It's behind, relative to the table. I was oriented to space, I'm sorry. <laughs> Moshe, please don't send the bolt of lightning. Don't get me on that one. Behind the mastoid process. And then I come over here and I roll a little bit. And I find the mastoid process, and I find, oh, and I put it way, 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 here it is. I sense it so that my skin can sense it. And how will I put it behind the mastoid process? Behind it. Before, it was just my hand going on. Off the ground. Huh? <laughs> she wants she wants to go to sleep now, yeah? I really am and I and the then the movement then to go forward and back, look, 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 there's no interference. If this movement is not absolutely available, you can almost guarantee that there's been a whiplash. If that movement, that subtle, soft movement, you can almost guarantee that there's been a neck injury. She's more or less available. So I would predict not too many neck injuries. Few, five or six, I don't know. <laughs> One, but not bad, okay. But lots of Feldenkrais, okay. All right, please go. Let the arms rotate.